somebody pays me. Back to the episode and Dan left Paul. I'm here with Paul. Oh, 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 get feel in my spleen. Ugh. I have exciting news is that I'm back and I have even more exciting news. I'm not going anywhere. From right now until the beginning of 2025, I can promise you that I'm going to be making brand new clean ass content. Now, I really did want to hop back on the not so aggressive bi-weekly vlogs making a new video every single two weeks but i really do want to challenge myself so i'm going to start making brand new videos every single week so it's currently january 1st 2024 at four o'clock in the morning the majority of people are now knocked out drunk covered in vomit on their living room floor but here am i at this random park at four o'clock in the morning making a video. A very important thing that I've never done before is ask myself, why? Why am I making a brand new piece of clean ass content every single Friday at 8 a.m.? And it took me a long ass time to figure out that question of why. And the reason is, is practice i really do want to receive my 10 million subscriber plaque one day but in order to get that is i need to be one is good at what i'm doing and two I need to ask myself how i would get good at it and how you get good at something is you do it over and 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 over again i haven't even begun studying the film industry or how to film on a professional level because i've been so distracted with life and i kept putting off like making my videos because i was just like oh shoot i need to grow up i need to be an adult i need to um basically conform to society and i have i have literally accomplished like falling into the block of like what everyone else wants me to do with my life you know have my apartment have my job and have my vehicle and just basically keep doing the thing over and over and over again until that i die and i've done that the only issue is, is like what now like what am i gonna do it's like i'm really not fulfilled in life like i'm really really sad a lot of the times literally like a few days ago i was going down the freeway and i just started crying man i started crying because i started asking myself like what the hell am i gonna do like like i keep throwing away all this money into this apartment that i don't own and it's like it's like what the fuck am i doing it's just like i'm not like a normal person i'm a fucking vlogger dog what disturbs me in like living in los angeles like actually living my day-to-day -day life in los angeles living in hollywood is like to see how anti like um uh creating like how like how do i describe it like like when I go out and I'm trying to like do this, I'm trying to like record and like be creative, be myself, is like how many times I get told to stop recording, stop being myself in freaking Los Angeles. Like this is the place where I believe that you should feel safe recording. And I really do understand that there are legalities of like, where and when you should record but like even to that extent everything is a gray line like legally you can record and take pictures in public 
but where is public? Like technically, someone does own this property that I'm currently standing on, but it, but they own it, but it's used and utilized as a public park. If you ask anybody, hey, can I record here? Always the answer is going to be no. But legally speaking, I can record out here because it's a public area. Like ask yourself, if you go to like say Six Flags, which is like up the street from my house, can you record at Six Flags? If I walk up and I ask somebody, hey, can I get a couple shots? Can I record here in Six Flags? The answer is going to be no. But it's a gray line of a yes and a no that you can record. The thing is, is that you really just have to fucking get in and get out. Get your shots, be creative, and tell the story. Get the storyline, get the vlog up, get it to the editor, and make it public so people can finally see it. That's what I personally learned being a vlogger is that it's technically illegal to be a vlogger. But you know, freaking gray lines and all that. But pushing that aside and actually trying to get back to being like a better uh, vlogger, which is basically a video logger, you're like logging of what happened in your day through a video. A better storyteller is like, I'm actually like trying to uh, learn to like write a script. Here's like a video that I recorded a few days ago. So right now it's December 29th, 2023. And you see how I'm trying to like be more professional with like these YouTube videos, because like this is gonna be like video one and it's gonna be act one act two and act three see because right now we're in basically act two right in the middle of the storyline of what the hell where have i been what have i been doing see right now we're fucking deep in high waters of trying to figure out of of, of how to be a better storyteller so this whole time that i actually have begun i've actually been remembering my very first memories as a child my very first memory was actually of me as a child looking out the second story of my house in Pennsylvania. It was snow everywhere and my father was bringing in a brand new stereo system into the house. And I guess ever since from a child, I guess I've been nocturnal or um, an insomniac or like just a nighttime person. Um, so my very first memory was actually remembering my father coming home very, while everyone else was asleep, looking at him bringing the stereos inside the house. So I'm not gonna get into all of my memories in this video, but in the video that I have coming up, shoot, I have to, I have to make another video by the fifth, because today's the first, and I have to get another video out by the 5th because I'm going to start making new clean ass content videos every single Friday at 8 a.m. So I have to I, 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 I'm going to have to really, really push. Um, but in that video, I'm basically going to tell like every single memory that I have of me living inside Pennsylvania because I was born in Pennsylvania and i moved out here to california when i was three years old welcome two to five years adult supervision is is whatever i guess how the whole saying goes age is but a number and crow's feet once you start getting wrinkles around your eyeballs that has to do with age and i guess you could reasonably ask me paul why the hell are you at a freaking playground at freaking 420 in the morning i mean just look at it it's very very colorful it really gets the attention of the eyeballs so as an example i'm using like this park for like the colors and like to get those the, those those things that are really really going to get your attention once i actually do like go professional with it and actually i can get like a lot of views and everything there's a lot of shots to get inside like los angeles there's so many beautiful architecture and all that and i want to be able to capture it and be able to vlog outside but until i build that confidence i'm kind of like starting small act three the ending i actually 
actually didn't get this far in writing because I kind of ran out of time because it's like New Year's the first and like I, I really do prefer to like record at night time because that's when like people will leave me alone and the only reason why they're gonna leave me alone is because there's nobody there. It's actually kind of a blessing that I found this like entire freaking huge ass park that was open. Like I didn't break in or anything. Like I ain't, I ain't trying to play that game no more. Like literally like the front gate was just open and it's, it's coming around freaking five o'clock in the morning and fucking no one's out here. Crazy. What you can expect from me is that there, yes, there will be a brand new video every single Friday at eight o'clock in the morning. I actually need to get myself into gear because I haven't edited any of this video yet and I need to get it up now. So it is great to be back, but I got to get myself to work. But I will see you guys in two weeks or I'll see you guys in one week. Oh shit, no, I'll see you guys in literally four days from now on Friday 5th at 8 a.m. Goodbye. Oh my God, look at it, it's a freaking little bunny rat. Oh yeah, I completely forgot to tell you guys where I live. I live here in North Hollywood. It's uh, apparently it's called the um, the Valley of the Stars. There's these little towers of rocks. See, look at them. They're everywhere. I mean, they're not like scattered around like all of North Hollywood, but just like in this little tiny area. Ooh, I can't close my